I'm surprised that started up on the first try. I haven't driven this in a long time. Hey, how y'all doing? It's been a long time since I've been here on Joe Does Stuff and well, here I am. Driving the van, no gas in the van and well, you're probably wondering to yourself, what the hell am I doing here? Joe, I thought you were locked out of this account. If you got, oh, ah. if you guys rock with me on After Prison Show, uh, that was certainly the case. Coming back to YouTube a couple of months ago, I couldn't get into this Joe Does Stuff account. Uh, but after a lot of soul searching, uh, I was able to get back into this account. But by that point, I was already knee deep on After Prison Show again. And that's where I've been at. Uh, trying not to do so much with this painting business. But I'm still doing with this painting business. And here we are today, as a matter of fact, up in the van, going to put gas in the van and going out to a pretty big residential job that we've got going on that has been nothing short of a pain in the ass, and I'll share more about that in a little bit. But getting back to, getting back to Joe Does Stuff here, uh, I decided, you know, why not? If I'm coming back to YouTube as hard as I've been, especially on After Prison Show, then why not, hey, just do it to the absolute max and try to do Joe Does Stuff again as well. Now, a little confession to make sometimes hey god it's a little warm in here uh, sometimes I feel like I'm really not doing stuff and certainly not doing stuff worthy enough to be sharing on a YouTube channel called Joe does stuff so feeling that way I've also thought like what if I changed Joe does stuff possibly to Joe does ASMR which is actually another uh, YouTube channel that I tried to create that was not that great, but I'm kidding saying changing this to Joe Does ASMR. You know, what if I change this to like hanging with Joe or something along them lines? That way I don't feel the, the, the obligation to always have to be doing stuff. Probably makes no sense at all. Uh, but anyways, I'm, I'm here today and I'm happy to be here, and I'm hopeful that you're happy that I'm here, and all of that. And uh, a lot to share with y'all. But first, I gotta get some gas. I don't drink energy drinks anymore. So for those of you who don't, follow after prison show a little bit of a confession to make I had started smoking again and smoked for seven months just recently quit 17 days ago I don't even think I can get out of here I think I'm I think it's too tight there's no way I'm about to be able to get this truck out I mean this is a crazy parking situation right here. Holy moly. That was tight. All right. Hey, what's going on? I was going to try to have like some multiple camera angles. I've got this other little phone mount. I was going to put it over on the side and you know, try to dress up the look and feel of these videos here on Joe Does Stuff, just like I've been trying to do on After Prison Show. And I'm going to do that. You know, like I had said, if I'm going as hard as I'm going on After Prison Show, I might as well do the same damn thing here on Joe Does Stuff. But let me fill you guys in real quick on a couple of other important details I feel like. Um, if you don't follow me over on After Prison Show, it's probably the first time you're seeing me in a long time. So hello, and here I am. <laughs> a little bit of a confession to make. I had started smoking again back around Christmas time. It was Christmas time. So I smoked for about seven months and I just recently quit 17 days ago. And I've gotten my fat ass 
back up into the gym. You know, one thing that was really awesome here on Joe Does Stuff was chronicling my fitness journey three years ago, which was a big deal. I went from 285 to 235, maybe 225, somewhere around there. Lost over 50 pounds and got in the best shape of my life, even better shape than when I was in prison. And to think that I was so much older at that point. I'm hoping to do it again. And this time, it's not as bad as it was when I first started with the, with the fact that I'm only 255 right now. And I know that that sounds like a lot, but for me, it's mostly just a, a beer gut. So I've been working out, I've been running, I've been in the gym, I've actually got a gym membership now. I don't have the storage unit slam filled with fitness equipment. I ended up having to sell all of that. And I got me a, a gym membership for Planet Fitness. <clears throat> I've been going almost every single day. I did not go yesterday, which was Sunday, and I did not go Saturday. Saturday I didn't work out at all, but yesterday I would end up just running when I go to the gym, I run on the treadmill a little bit more than a mile. When I run in the real world, I always run a lot harder and a lot further for whatever reason. So I went jogging yesterday, short of it. Um, so I'm back trying to get back. And, you know, excited for the possibility of sharing with you guys again here on this channel. So let's go ahead and talk about what we got going on today. Like I had mentioned, we've got a big residential job going and this is only our, you know, shit. I could probably count them on less than two hands, the residential jobs that we've done uh, with the painting work. But this is a pretty big one, even though the house is small, it's only a two bedroom, one bath house. It's about 1200 square feet. I think it's a little bit less than that. It might be like 1150. And it was a full renovation where the homeowner was very particular about every little thing as she should be because of the fact that she got this house, she bought this house and then did a full renovation in it. And I can only imagine that what she spent, I don't necessarily know, but I got a feeling that what she spent on this renovation work was probably damn near what she paid to buy the house. And to think that she probably bought this house for about $250,000 and probably put close to $200,000 into it, it ain't even worth that if she tried to sell it. Ain't no way. Ain't no way this house is worth that. Only being a little two-bedroom, one-bath house. Uh, but we've already started this thing a while back. Over a month ago, we started on this job. Might have even been longer than that. And we went in and we painted two, both of the bedrooms. She wanted these, this horrendous green color, walls and ceilings. And then the trim and the doors was stained wood. I mean, this is the most ridiculous color scheme ever. And actually that was one bedroom that was the stained wood with the ugly green. The other bedroom was the ugly green with the white trimming door. So just a, crazy situation there. I wouldn't be surprised if going back there today, they want to change that. We're going to, we're going to see. I know that the living room and the rest of the house is all supposed to be a, a Dover white and good deal with that. We're also supposed to be doing the exterior of the house. Uh, and I bid this job at $12,000. I think I even bid it a little bit more than that. It might be close to 13,000. I'm going to make a really good profit off of this but to go back to the fact that we've already started on this job, when we started on it, there was a lot of drywall repair work that we had to do, which we did. But we ended up getting called back to this job three times for nitpicking little divots in the wall and like little small shit that we missed when we tried to address everything. So again, no big deal. The homeowner, the customer, they're always right. You know, hey, it's Burger King over here. And we could have gotten on this job earlier, like last week or the week prior. But I said, I don't want to go into this until you guys are done. We want to be the last people in there. That way, if there's any issues, see them right then and there. And we can deal with them right then and there instead of having to come back 
sporadically, which is a real pain in the ass. So big residential job going on right now, and that's where we're on our way out to. We are gonna hit all sorts of traffic. I don't have the first lick of paint for this job, but there's a Sherwin Williams literally right across the street from this house. And we're gonna get out there, we're gonna meet with the contractor, see what he's talking about. He wants to meet with us, go over things, and get my guys set up to bust this thing out. My hope is to have this job completed by the end of the week. It's Monday. By Friday, I want this job done. Um, three days on the inside, three days max on the outside, which ain't no way this little 1,200 square foot house is gonna take three days on the outside. Ain't, ain't no way. It ain't gonna take three days on the inside. So, you know, hopefully it takes two days on the inside, two days on the outside. We'll see. Got no idea what we're walking into, but we're gonna soon find out. Hey, it feels good to be back. Thank you for the warm welcomes back, if there are any of those. And uh, let's carry on and try to do stuff. That sounded ridiculous. All right, up in Sharon Williams right now and loading up on supplies. Pretty everything. So hopefully I'm hoping that we're only gonna spend about a thousand in materials throughout the course of the rest of this job. Uh, that would be delightful. I'll let you know what the damage is about to be because we're grabbing paint right now. Should be all of the paint that we need for the interior and if it's not, it's gonna be damn close. I'm getting seven gallons of interior paint flat for the walls and the ceilings, a couple of rooms to do, and then just two gallons of semi-gloss Will it be enough? That. Got stress cracks going. Got some stuff going on there. Gonna address all of that. Floors are gonna be completely covered up. Uh, this is getting completely painted with the semi gloss. Another one of these right here. And All of this will be painted, painted, uh, down in there will be painted as well. And back there has already been completed. All right, good. All right, leaving from the residential job right now, my guys are there. Just did the walkthrough with them and showed y'all a little bit of what's going on on the inside and uh, can't do too much. The homeowner is there. Thought the homeowner was gonna be staying in a motel until it was completed and nope, she ain't spending no more money and I, I don't blame her neither. So she's gonna be there. Uh, it's really not a whole hell of a lot to be done left on the inside uh, but the problem is is it's going to be a full day of prep and mud work and then they are going to probably get the kitchen painted at the very least but you know we have enough leeway to where you know they don't have to rush on this uh, i bid this job good twelve thousand three hundred dollars for the full exterior and the full interior, and again, you've seen it, it's a tiny little house. I met with the contractor over there this morning too, super cool, you know, he's happy with everything. We showed him a couple of things that we were concerned about that they didn't even notice, uh, but no big deal for none of that. Went to Sharon Williams already, got the paint and some supplies, spent $500 
So that's not bad, but when it comes to that exterior paint, that's aluminum siding, and I should have showed you that shit is flaking bad. I mean, it's peeling off really bad, and we are definitely gonna have to hit that shit with the DTM, and that ain't gonna be cheap. Uh, the DTM's probably gonna be about 50 plus per gallon, but it is what it is. We'll probably need about What are we gonna to need to do that exterior? Maybe six or seven gallons at most. Trim's a different color. Uh, trim around the windows is a different color. Front door is a different color. And then trim around the top, the fascia, that's a different color too. So for siding surface, it's only a one story house. Man, we might get away with five gallons. I think we could do it with five gallons. Ain't much to that house at all but you never know. All right, so the job is set up. Got my guys working. Now it's time for me to go to work. I got some video work to do for after prison show, so I'm gonna get ready to go work on that. All right, let's start this again. Hey, welcome to Joe Does Stuff. Tuesday morning as I begin this, and I hate to say this, but I'm just not doing so good. I'm down in the dumps, I'm in my feelings, and I'm depressed, which is crazy considering the fact that, you know, I'm pretty far separated from smoking. Uh, my workout has been getting a little scattered, and I don't like that because I've only just gotten into it. I'm not even two weeks into my workout yet. Um, I wasn't able to work out at all yesterday. Sunday, all I was able to do was run. Saturday, I wasn't able to work out. Friday, I was. So I've already missed two days in three days. And I, and I don't like that. I'm going to work out this morning, though. And I almost did it again. I actually did it again. But I caught myself this time. Thank God. Learned from the first time. And ironically, I'm wearing the same shirt as I was when it happened the first time. So you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I shared this over on After Prison Show on Kicking the Bobo, the live stream, and it was a story about an embarrassing moment that I had a couple of weeks ago where I was out filming with Banky and another guy, and actually I don't even think we were filming, we were just going to meet somebody. And anyways, I kept getting this really weird smell. It smelled super bad. And eventually, well, pretty quickly, I would realize that it was coming from me. I realized it was coming from me. I just couldn't figure out what the smell was for the life of me. And it wasn't until I got home that I realized when I took my shirt off, this shirt right here, that when I got the shirt over my head, the back bottom part of it, my dog, Louie had pissed all over the back of my shirt and it had dried and I didn't even recognize it when I put it on and I was walking around smelling like dog piss all day long well this morning it happened again I'm on my way to the gym right now and I was putting my shoes on this morning I keep getting this smell and I'm like yo what is that it smells like dog piss where did the dog piss at couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Figured the dog pissed in the kitchen somewhere. I, I couldn't place it. And then I started getting the idea that he might have pissed on something that I was wearing. This shirt. I'm checking the shirt. Well, it wasn't until I got in the truck and I started filming and I'm getting down the street that I look at my gym shorts and I can see the discoloration on my gym shorts. Man, this dog, hey, I, I'm trying to tell you, man, this dog don't got no home training. I know that falls completely on me. But man... I ain't feeling that shit at all. That was a whole hamper full of freshly washed clothes that he pissed on. So, anyways, I had to go home and change. But thank God that I did because I'm going to the gym right now and I would have hated to be up in there smelling like dog piss. Um, so I don't have a change of clothes. I've got to leave from the gym, go straight to the residential job, check on all of that. I'll film and show you guys how that's coming along. And then it's off to some filming for after prison show i'm getting up with banky and one of banky's friends d uh who served 14 years in prison he was a don juan rico suave type of a prisoner and to be honest with you 
over here on Joe Does Stuff. <laughs> I, I like this because I can talk shit about my other YouTube channel here. Uh, I don't even know why I'm doing this for a number of reasons. I feel like an absolute failure over on After Prison Show. I feel like, you know, it's too far gone. I'm never going to be able to bounce back over there. The writing's on the wall. It's depressing. You know, I've been putting out what I think is really good content, but, you know, I'm not owed anything from this, so I don't want it to seem like... I'm entitled or I feel like I'm entitled to have the success over there, but it does suck and suck the wind out of my sails knowing that, you know, the only thing that I was ever truly successful in is turning out to be just like everything else that I've attempted to do in life, a failure. And that failure is because of my efforts and those efforts always being Flawed. Flawed efforts on After Prison Show would be stepping away from After Prison Show to focus on other things. And who knows? Maybe I should be. I, I honestly don't know. I, I know I'm confused. And I'm very um, insecure in my efforts, feeling like I don't know what to feel anything that I think is a good idea. Like I can't even trust my own intuition right now for myself, for other people. Hey, I, I'm good at that. I can tell you what's going to work for other people because I know what's worked for me. I think the difference right now is, is I am just dead and stinking in terms of, um, you know, relevancy, especially with after prison show. And that's okay. You know, it sucks, but it's okay. But again, I question, what am I doing today? Like, why am I even still continuing to beat this fucking dead horse here? But that's just being honest with you. I need this workout. I need it to clear my mind. I've been flying off the handles when I get down some, and I don't like that. I want to do better. I want to feel better. I thought about changing the name of Joe Does Stuff to Joe Crashes Out. Crashing out with Joe. Because uh, that's what I truly feel like I'm doing on the other channel is crashing out. And if I am going to stand any chance of that succeeding over there, you know, stepping outside of the box is what you have to do. Oh, man, maybe if I just crash out every day, like go fucking completely unhinged over there, uh, that might, that might work. <sighs> Damn, that was hard to just start filming right there. All right, leaving from the gym uh, a little bit after nine o'clock in the morning and Got it in a little bit, a little bit. Started off a little rough around the edges. As soon as I got up in there, I jump on the treadmill and start running. And my water bottle fell off the damn treadmill between the treadmills and started leaking all over the floor. That was embarrassing. So that was how the workout started. And then, I wanted to go try to do some bench, you know, because chest is important. And all the benches were tied up in there. That was the busiest that it's ever been in there at, at 8.30 to 9 o'clock in the morning. It says this stuff burns body fat and there's no aspartame in this. So that's pretty good. Um, all right, anyways, running on borrowed time, all the benches were tied up. I ended up doing some, uh, well, I did some bench with some dumbbells, but I wanted to use the bar, but no big deal. You got to work what you got and make what you got work. I got to haul ass out to the residential job. I got to get out there, check and see what's going on out there. Make sure everything's going off without a hitch. Oh yeah. Perfect. This will work. And then 
It's off to get up with Banky and his his guy. Oh man, damn it, man! I just spilled another drink. Shit! All right, let's get where we're going. All right, we got the pressure washer back out. Back out at the residential job. Looks like a painter's van, don't it? All right, homeowner just hauled ass. So this is our little baby house right here. We're painting the exterior of this as well. And they even brought us a porter john because they don't want us to use the bathroom inside, but whatever. All right, so we got uh, aluminum siding with the paint chipping off. Gonna have to hit that with the DTM. So when we pressure wash today, we're gonna hope to blast off even more of that. We've already pressure washed this house one time and it's just crazy that this stuff is still coming off. Pretty crazy, but the exterior of this is not gonna be so bad. And again, we've already started on the inside of this thing and shout out to the team because they are doing it. Feeling all our white women. <laughs> the hell are you talking about? Uh, just the skit. Just the comedy skit where Dave Chappelle was uh, the plan leader. Uh, all right, so we had a hole in the wall right here for an old electrical box or a light switch or something that's gone. There was another one right there that's gone. Stress cracks all through this thing. Those are gone. And we've already started painting in the kitchen. Look at the prep. Look at the prep. And had to oil base prime this wood stained door right here. And we got paint down in here too. Uh, seven gallons of flat paint walls and ceilings are all the same. We're even painting over the returns. They're like, hey, paint over those. So we're doing that. And we've used almost one gallon of paint in this little baby kitchen. We got the super paint, the A100. Make sure she turned the AC off for us. She did. Okay. <clears throat> so we're using the, the super paint. I thought super paint was A100. I guess it. I thought it was. But yeah, it's looking good in here. So at the most, today and tomorrow, and this is all we've got left to paint in here, we've already painted everything back there which is crazy because back there is a totally different color but that's the way they wanted it and that's what we're doing uh, but by today and tomorrow the in inside will be completely done and then we'll be moving on to the outside <sighs> still in my gym clothes and that's how we're working today uh, all the legs showing all right, so went and checked out the residential job. Uh, all was well with that. It's funny because I'm twisting right now. I'm filming one video for one channel and continuing this video here on <laughs> Joe Does Stuff. And um, I've just started filming a video for After Prison Show. So it's crazy because I'm at a location where I'm supposed to be meeting with Banky's buddy and Banky. And this is the second time that I've been here and I get here when I'm told to be here and nobody's here. They won't be here for 20 minutes. So now I'm just sitting out here looking like Bobo the freaking clown. Uh, like, uh, you know, my time's not freaking important and kind of aggravating just to be honest. But anyway, such is life. Sometimes it's, it's like that. Hey, I'll share something with you guys real quick. I just recently got monetized on Instagram and TikTok. So after prison show on TikTok, after prison show Joe on Instagram, my Instagram is booming. You know, I got a bunch of videos up there that are doing crazy numbers, especially on Instagram. And I mean, way better numbers than on YouTube, which is crazy. But um, I ain't had the first video make the first red cent. And that's crazy. I've had seven videos as of late be ineligible for monetization. They don't even tell me why it's ineligible. They just say multiple reasons or something along them lines. Uh, but on TikTok, I just made my first money. 
I made a whopping 86 cents. And let me tell you, that is the most precious 86 cents your boy has ever seen. Uh, who knows? <laughs> we might be taking the show on the road, moving on from YouTube, especially for after prison show's sake. Uh, you know, prison YouTube is, and I imagine it's like that everywhere. Uh, prison YouTube is probably really played out. Uh, prison Facebook, I don't think it is. Uh, prison Instagram, I know it's not. Uh, and prison TikTok, I'm pretty sure it probably is. But, you know, neither here nor there. It's always exciting when you get monetized on a new platform and you, you see your first money from that. 86 cents? That's almost as much money as I'm making in YouTube right now. But, you know, neither here nor there. Anyways, um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. You know, this is me coming back to Joe Does Stuff. Joe unhinged. Joe crashing out to a certain degree. But more importantly, Joe trying to figure it all out. You know, I've been going all in on YouTube and doing so. Having the ability to get back on Joe Does Stuff. Why not? You know, maybe it's over for me in regards to the prison content. Maybe I just need to move on and try to do stuff. But regardless, if you take the time to check out this video, I, I do appreciate that. Regardless, I'm out here trying to do any and everything that I can. You see what's going on with the painting business. We have a job going on right this second. Maybe I ought to just focus on trying to do both. Do all that I can with YouTube and social media and do all that I can with the painting business and leave alone apartments. I'll share one final thing before I wrap this up. Uh, I am going to start telling some stories over here of the painting days, you know, crazy paint stories. And I want to do reaction videos to painting stuff as well, like little shorts. I think that that would be interesting. I had one of the only, well, the only apartment that we really paint for anymore call me yesterday. It was Monday yesterday and say, hey, um, can we get you to paint this unit? The people just moved out today being Monday and we've got some new people moving in on Wednesday. And I'm like, <laughs> No, uh, absolutely not. We're blessed with this residential job right this second. And then he was like, oh, yeah, and by the way, it's just a touch-up. I'm like, man, no, nah, man, we can't do it. I said, early as we could be able to get to that maybe would be Wednesday. He said, well, I'm going to call corporate and see if y'all could do it on Wednesday. And I'm just thinking to myself, man, why lie? You know, try to put us under the gun with this tight deadline, knowing damn full, good and well, that shit ain't even real. But such as life. Anyways, hey, thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Some kind of a way, I hope that it was one y'all enjoyed. Let me know what you think. What should I do? Because stuff is what I have to do, especially here. And uh, I look forward to sharing more with you guys real soon. Until then, take care.